So today what we're going to do is we're going to fit or retrofit electronic ignition into a classic car. So this is a, a straight six MGC but you can fit it into any uh, any classic car with a distributor. Um, the kit that we're going to go for is the AccuSpark kit. Um, I've also used the PowerSpark kit before and they're, they're all very good and very simple to fit. And um, what I've done is I've actually detuned this car um, so I've adjusted the, the points to make it run really badly just so you can see the before and after. So what I'll do now is I'll just start it and you can see just how bad it will run with badly adjusted sparks on the um, sorry gaps on the um, points. So let's turn it over. So you can see just how bad it runs when the points on the gaps, or sorry, the gaps on the points are really badly adjusted. So let's now go and fit it and see the difference. Before doing any electrics works on a car, you should always remove the power supply so you can't fry the electrics. I've already slackened this off, so I just need to pull it off. So now we're good to go. So let's start by removing the points and the condenser that's there at the moment. So just release the distributor cap and there you can see the points and the condenser. Now the condenser is not actually attached it's because I've just taken it off and there's just one screw on. Let's take, oops, let's take the rotary cap off. And then undo the screw. There should be only one screw holding on the points. Keep the screw because you'll need that to fit your new set of electronic ignition. So when we lift this out, and there's that one cable that's holding in. Your setup might be slightly different because um, it's different on each car. So here you have the old points. Um, as you can see that's where the, the gap is and that's where the adjustment would always need to be made. And then the condenser and then the cable going out to the outside of the distributor. Uh, don't throw these away. Always keep them in a box just in case you're new ignition fails when you're on the road. You can always swap them out, at least you can limp home rather than being stuck. And then this is what you get in the box. You get a little ring, oops, a little ring to put on the rotary arm. Your new little box of magic. Uh, no condenser, no gaps to adjust. Just a little box of magic. And you'll notice that there's two two cables opposed to the one, and we'll show you that. And also some silicon gel just to or silicon grease just to stick to the underside. And uh, it helps conduct the heat away from, from the little box. Okay, so let's fit it. Okay, so let's start off by applying the silicon grease to the bottom of the can open the packet to the bottom of the new ignition system. So you don't need much. There's actually not a lot in there anyway. And that just makes for a better contact. And it also gets your fingers extremely mucky. That's now in. So I've now screwed down the, the plate loosely and also put the little collar on which goes underneath the rotary, um, the rotary arm. And the grease is all over the shop. 
And now what I'll do is I'll just feed the wires through. So that goes there, and I'll just tighten up the plate to make sure it doesn't touch the collar. And next is the wiring, uh, which is probably the scariest part, but it's it's quite simple. The, the black lead goes to the lead that was going to your previous points. So let's fit that. And then the re, re sorry, the red lead goes to the positive on your coil. So the opposite side to the existing cable. And also there should be a plus and a minus. So you can see quite easily. And then fit the distributor cap again. And then we'll fire up. So the only changes I've made are the points. And you'll see the difference. I'll tidy these wires up a little bit later. And that's it done. Um, so like I said, I'll fire up now so you can see the difference. And like I said, the only difference I've made is purely just the points. And like I said, I detuned the points a lot. Um, just, to, just to prove a point, really. Um, but from a, a standard setup, this really will A, be maintenance-free, and B, just run a lot better.